So we just wanted to, to sort of get your opinion, get the AAP opinion on whether you feel that the case has been closed in terms of any association between vaccines and autism. We can put a check mark next to vaccines do not cause autism. We've studied it, we've looked at it, we can put that aside. We need to spend our time and energy looking elsewhere. And the more that we you know, continue to discuss is it vaccine, we, uh, as far as I'm concerned, and I think the academy in, in general, uh, there is no association. We've done the studies. We can put a check mark. But we must continue to look for the cause for autism. It is increasing. It's a terrible burden for families, a terrible burden for children. And we need to take our collective energies with the National Children's Study, with everything that we possibly can do to see what's going on. It's incredibly important. You know, in part because we don't know as much about autism as we, uh, as we should, and probably it has diverse causes. There's a hypothesis that autism could have an autoimmune basis in some children. We also know that an autoimmune encephalopathy can occur as a side effect of vaccines. Um, how can we be absolutely certain that children, some of whom may be in vaccine court, who have had an autoimmune type encephalopathy uh, after exposure to a vaccine, don't develop autistic-like behaviors. The, the issue was, does measles, mumps, rubella vaccine cause autism? It's a perfectly reasonable hypothesis, but it's been disproven over and over again. But I think as long as you're studying children, you're gonna study immunizations. I mean, you can't separate concerns about autistic children, concerns about children with cystic fibrosis, children with congenital cardiomyopathy, whatever it is. Or asthma. Immunizations or are going to be studied along the way. But the design of the study should be a holistic approach to what's causing autism. What can we do to give parents more information about the risks they have to have children? Notice, why have I got a family with three male sons with, with autism. But I think the focus should be on what in the world is going on. I mean, is it pesticides in the environment? Is it all genetics? Is it something perinatally that happens to these people? Certainly vaccines have been studied more than anything else and at least 14 times. But not necessarily adequately. I mean, a lot of them are these big epidemiologic yeah. studies with little, looking for little spikes. I've never seen any area of medicine where we say, well, we've already done 25 studies on coronary disease. We don't need to do another one. So the problem is you're speaking to the woman who designed the HRT study, <laughs> where before we had this randomized double blind trial, which we obviously can't have with vaccines, all of the research showed that HRT was beneficial. So why should we have this large scale expensive trial to see if it really helped? We already know that it helps, but it turns out it doesn't. So I guess, and, and we are just throwing questions out here. We, we question the quality of the research and we wonder, is there, should it, should it still be looked at in whatever capacity? I think it's gonna continue to be looked at regardless of our opinion. And I, and but I don't, don't you want to get behind it? I, mean, I don't want, want to. Shape to it. I don't want, want to influence. put more weight on immunizations than I put on what Dr. Palfrey is saying about looking at the root causes of autism. And I honestly don't think we should change the immunization program one iota based on what I know about autism and vaccines. I think we should keep doing exactly what we're doing: study all you want, research all you want. The more, the better. But but this autism hype should not bring down the most effective public health program in the history of mankind. You know what I think it is too, which we, we probably all will agree on, I think it's getting the message out there to parents that just because we in the media or you in the, uh, as medical professionals think that there needs to be more research doesn't mean that we're questioning the, the benefits of vaccines. We get right back to the, is the cup half full or is the cup half empty? If you say it with a half full attitude, we think the program's great, the system's set up well, we do need to put more resources in so that those parents who have those concerns can have their children comprehensively evaluated and tracked. And so there's a data bank that helps us go forward trying to get as many answers as we can about those 
tiny, tiny number of children who appear to have some problem with the vaccine, that's different than saying, you know, we're really not sure about this, and, and, and I'm not sure you ought to immunize your child until we but have but all the answers. Think, I, I don't and think that's, that's where we have to be what, very careful. Right. I don't yeah. think that's what Debbie is saying. Uh, I think that um, the issue is we have the NIH, we have many others who have said we have research that needs to be done, wh whether the hypothesis about asthma, whether it's a hypothesis about autism, whether it's a hypothesis uh, about diabetes, things that are rising in the population, these will come out. We have an association. We don't have causation. The message that we need to get back to parents is that we've done a very good job of looking at this association with vaccines, and it looks the, the, the evidence is very strong that there's not a link, a direct link.